It's the clash we've been waiting for. America versus Russia in the heavyweight division. And the first appearance here of this young white American hope, Dwayne Bobbick, a Navy quartermaster, 22 years old, from Minnesota, and his burly Russian opponent, Yuri Nesterov, 26. The moment these two were drawn together last week, expectations were high. So here's the young white American heavyweight on whom all eyes have been ever since he turned up in Munich. He's won 59 on the trot to get here. And he gets his head jerked back by the Russian in the opening seconds. And these two are not messing about at the start of this. He's got him with a right hand, the Russian. The Russian hurt. And Bobek, who said when he arrived in Munich, I know what I'm going for. There's a million dollars in this game for me if I can come out the gold medalist. He sees a million dollars at the end of the trail. And so he goes in punching from the start. Bobbick already has had to take one or two but he's shown he can take a punch. And this Russian had better be strong. Punch for punch, but Bobic pressing forward and carrying the Russian back and holding. Oh, that's right. Walks right onto it. Standing count of eight. And this is living up to everything that had been expected. young American is putting across. Another count. Second. And we're still only in the first round. And this crowd are enjoying this. There's the bell to end the first. And what a debut. Dwayne Bobbick of the United States has made. And listen... Listen to this noise that they're setting up for him. The Russian badly hurt several times in that first round. Nesterov, 26, who won against the United States in Russia this February, but not against Bobby. 22, this man, a Navy quartermaster, who comes from Bolas, Minnesota. Six foot three and weighs just under 15 stone. And he's got a right hand with a bomb in it. 59 consecutive wins before Munich. And this is an altogether different Bobbick from the man we saw in London earlier this year against Dave McCann. And we were told that he wasn't really going full out in London and now I'm prepared to believe it. Can the Russians survive against the Americans' right hand? Bobbick of America, Nesterov of Russia, every prospect that this one will end very, very suddenly. There it is again. The punch that has set the Munich boxing alight.
Nesterov still getting some of his own back. And what a strong man this Russian is. And the way these two are hitting each other, it makes you wonder how much they'll have left to carry into the next round. The greatest confrontation in Olympic boxing since the last heavyweight final in Mexico four years ago between George Foreman of America and Chapulis the Russian. And again, we've got this American-Soviet confrontation. And Nestrov in real trouble, hanging on grimly. Seconds to go in the second round. He's made it, but only just. And this place is screaming with excitement. The whole of the stadium rising to this extraordinary heavyweight contest between Russia and America. Nesterov survives again, but only just. How much more can he take? Still occasionally handing it out, but really having to take a tremendous amount of punishment from the white American Bobbick. Well, this has more than lived up to expectations. It always looked like a good one on paper, but it's turned out to e be even better than we'd hoped. Right, the last three minutes. Topic of America, Nesterov of Russia. These two have really taken a lot out of each other. And they're still doing it. The Russian now trying to turn it back the other way. as though he may be feeling the effects of all the work that's been put into the first two. And this Russian is doing well in the last round. Make no mistake.
and the tiring American now beginning to miss quite a bit. And it's Bobek's turn to soak it up. And look how this Russian is forcing the big American back. Where has Nestrov found this strength from after being almost out at the end of the second? Arms are down now, Nesterov. But they're equally tired. Closing seconds of this classic battle. There it is. You'll never see a better one than that. Bobby falls into the arms of the Russian coach. And now the Russian takes him back to the American corner. And two men could not have given more in an Olympic contest. And this entire stadium appreciates a magnificent contest. quarter-final and what a match in prospect there because Bobic now must face Teofilio Stevenson the brilliant Cuban with the big right hand so we've got another magnificent contest coming up for Dwayne Bobic the white American hope